back to the previous video, you should be comfortable with solving a system. But what we want to do right now is try to set up a system. So come up with the variables, come up with the equations. So let's read through this problem. Uh, we have Onyx, and he went to Target. And he's been sick, so he bought some boxes of tissues and cold medicine. But he, uh, he wasn't paying attention when he brought it to the cashier, so they scanned it in. He bought two boxes of tissues and five doses of cold medicine and owed the cashier $20. And we're going to pretend that he doesn't have to worry about paying tax. Mr. Strader, he's also been sick, so he went and he bought one box of tissues and two doses of cold medicine. However, his total was only $9. So from this information, we should be able to figure out how much a box of tissues uh, costs and how much a dose of cold medicine costs at Target. So let's think about the parts that it takes, what it takes to set up a system. And the first thing would be the variables. So what don't we know? Basically, what are we trying to figure out? We want to figure out the cost of a box of tissues and the cost of a dose of cold medicine. So I'm going to make X stand for exactly what I just said, the cost of a box of tissues, and I'm going to make Y stand for the cost of one dose cold medicine. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Notice I didn't just say X equals tissues and Y equals cold medicine, because there's lots of things that we could be talking about, like how many of them they bought, the number of tissues, the number of, of doses, but this time we want to know about the cost. Okay, so let's go back and see what we know. Uh, he, let's see, Onyx. Onyx bought two boxes of tissues, five doses of cold medicine, owed $20. So normally, if we knew the cost of the tissues, we would say $2 times the, the cost of the, t sorry, two boxes of tissues times the cost, which we don't know, so I'm going to put X, plus five doses of cold medicine times the cost of each of those, which we're going to call Y, adds up to 20. Okay, and now we have Mr. Strader. So notice we kept all the Onyx stuff together, now we're going to talk about Mr. Strader. Mr. Strader, he only bought one box of tissues, which we're not sure how much it costs, so that's just X. But he also bought two doses of cold medicine at Y dollars each, and his total was 9. So we could solve this now that we have a system set up. I think I'm going to multiply this, let me switch colors here, multiply this one by negative 2. That gets me 2x plus 5y equals 20. This gets me negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 18. My x's cancel, I get y equals 2. So what does y stand for? It stands for the, coast, the cost of cold medicine. And that's just for one dose. So we know that this is going to be $2. Let's figure out what x is. So we know that x plus 2 times 2 just using this equation right here, equals 9. So x plus 4 equals 9. So x equals 5. So the box of tissues was $5. I guess they're buying those really nice boxes of tissues with aloe in them. So there was a way of setting up this problem. Okay, so here's another one. So here's our second example. Feel free to pause it if you want to copy these examples down. So this one's a little bit different. We're told that Verizon decides to charge $5 to open, a, open an account with them and $0.30 cents per text. Now, I know that's not realistic anymore. Um, usually, texting is unlimited now, but let's just use this. I think it's a good problem to, to understand what, what I mean by a, a system not being so straightforward. And then we have Sprint, and they are trying to compete with Verizon. They're only going to charge $2 to open that account and they're going to charge 40 cents per text. So are they, are they trying to be, sorry, trying to be uh, 
all tricky, you know, think, oh yeah, this is the better deal because it costs less to open the account, but then they're going to charge more per tax? I don't know. Notice the question isn't how many of this, how many of this, what's the cost of this, what's the cost of this? No, it's what plan is better. So I'm going to do some work here. I'm going to set up a system because we're dealing with two things. And I'm going to figure out what plan is better. Well, for me, that might depend on a few things like how many texts do I send a month? So I'm going to set up a Verizon equation. It's $5 to open up an account, but then it's 30 cents, so I'll, I'll say 0.30, per text. So I'm going to make X stand for the number of texts. So notice again, I'm defining my variables, the number of texts. Well, what do we get? Um, well, when you add those things together, we get what we owe Verizon. Well, we don't know what we over in, so there's another variable. See, that wasn't as obvious that this had two variables, so I'm going to say y is the cost. Okay, and then for Sprint, $2 to open the account and $0.40 cents per text gets us the cost at Sprint. So, let's see, what could I possibly do with these equations? Well. I could solve for x and y, but all that really means is what makes both of these equations true. Okay, that means when does Verizon equal Sprint? Okay, so when will Verizon equal Sprint? Notice that both of these equations are in y equals mx plus b form or, or slope intercept form. So I'm going to use substitution. So I'm going to say 5 plus 0.30x equals 2 plus 0.40x. Like that. So now I'm going to solve. Let me just make those a little bigger so we can see them. So I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. So I get 3 plus 0.30x equals 0.40x. And now let's subtract 0.30x. I get 3 equals 0.10x. And if I divide both sides by 10, 0.10, I will get 30. And then, let me just come up here for a second. We know that y equals 2 plus 0.40 times 30. So you can get your calculator out and try that. That gets me 12 and total gets me 14. So when does Sprint equal Verizon? Well, that happens when you have 30 texts and the cost will be $14. Okay, so well, how does that answer this question? What plan is better? If you think of it as a graph, okay, here's an orange line. We'll do Verizon in orange. Here's Verizon. We have our our y-intercept of 5 and a slope of 0.30. So let's pretend that's our slope of 0.30. And I'll do Sprint in green. The y-intercept for Sprint is at 2 but has a bigger slope, 0.40 is bigger than 0.30. So eventually notice these lines cross and we already figured out exactly where they cross. Right there at 30 texts. Right at 30 texts the cost was $14. So notice that the green line is actually below the orange line in this area. And then in this area, the green line's above the orange line. So I would say that if I texted less than 30 times, right, the green option is better, or sprint is better. But if I text more than 30 times, the orange line is better, right? It's lower. That would make Verizon better. So I'm going to write that down for us. So.
Here's our final answer. If texting 30 times or less, sprint is the better option. If texting 30 times or more, Verizon is the better option. And if you're texting exactly 30 times, well, then it doesn't matter. But usually you know where you're going to fall. So there isn't a straightforward answer to this. It really depends on the person. So we want to be very specific and say, if you don't text a lot, Sprint's better. If you text a lot, Verizon's better. So I'll just summarize that again. I'll put another word here. I'll say not a lot. Go with Sprint. You text a lot. You go with Verizon. So hopefully that will help you in the future when you're setting up more of these equations.